Big salute, big salute, big salute. You know the righteous revolutionaries on the on the watch. Always we on the watch. Oh man, big salute to all my support goons, loved ones, support squad. Prayers going up for you. If you was in Ohio in the Midwest, big salute to Big Brother now. Trapflix.com, trapflix.com, trapflix.com. Have you registered yet? Make sure you go register now. Make sure you go register. Big salute to all my righteous revolutionaries. Man, I got to bring this to y'all, man. This this some crazy news right here, man. Um, I need y'all reaction. I need y'all comments. Um, do y'all think this is an accident? Do you think it's neglect? Or do you think it's sabotage? Do you think this got something to do with UFOs and balloons and all this stuff they shooting out of the sky in America? I'll let y'all be the judge. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Leave me your comments. Leave me your reaction. Let's go. Let's get into it. Was involved in it, the fiery train derailment that happened last week in Ohio. Yeah, you may recall residents were forced to temporarily leave their homes after the train derailed in East Palestine. I know they say it, Palestine is where they say it there. Earlier this month, uh, releasing hazardous chemicals. And the video on your screen now oh, shows like uh, that running. the train appeared to be. Hold on now. It looked like somebody was running up and through there. Hold on. Let's take it back a little bit. Looked like seven. Uh, that the train appeared to be on fire. Looked this like is interesting. 20 running. miles before it reached the site where it actually went off the tracks, derailed. Oh, now, the I'm footage uh, on your screen is captured by a security camera at an equipment plant uh, in Salem, Ohio. Let's bring in Erica Moke. She's a... 20, mi 20 minutes, 20 miles before derailment? Come on, y'all. Something ain't right with this picture. The ev you know when the evidence don't add up. Well, we got to do some investigations. Come on, YouTube. Let's, let's put our um, inspector... Um, uh, uh, Dick Tracy hats on. I expect the gadget hats. Quarter for our Pittsburgh affiliate KDK TV. Erica, what can you tell us about what this video is all about, what it shows, and what new questions does it raise? Yeah, so the video that you're seeing is from Butech Bliss, and as you mentioned, it's an industrial equipment facility. Um, you're seeing those sparks on a portion of the train, and as you mentioned, where this facility, where this video was shot, is about 20 miles from East Palestine, where that derailment happened, right? 20 miles? Let's see what else they got on this story. 20 miles? That's crazy. 30 million in danger, Texas, Ohio. Oh man, prayers up going for going up for America, man. Oh man. And this was seven days ago, and they ain't nobody on the news talking about this. What they saying right here? This <laughs> 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 entertainment <laughs> purposes only. Oh man, this is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Oh man. All that stuff them folk breathing in. Man, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh man. Let's go, let's go back, see if we can find another one. Why why the news ain't talking about this? Me it fears of contamination. Again, this is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Let go. Tonight, it's been 10 days since a train derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, and emergency crews unleashed a controlled release and burn of toxic chemicals to prevent a potentially deadly explosion. Now oh, man. So they, they just let the chemicals just burn in the air. Well, I guess they really ain't had no choice, but damn. Now, some residents who have returned home 
and this morning sent their kids back to school, worry it may be too soon. How do you feel about being home? Do you feel safe? Uh, there's mixed emotions. I feel like there's not an immediate risk, but I definitely feel like there's a long-term risk uh, as far as things that are seeping into the ground. Ben just returned home after being evacuated. He has four children in the school system. I want them to be safe. Oh, uh, we're being told that things are safe, but yeah, it's just I'll tell you deep that. down you feel like you know, how can things already be back at a level where we can be back to normal? The city lifted the no evacuation order right. on February 8th and assured residents that extensive testing shows the air and water are safe. But officials have yet to release a complete manifest of what was aboard the train. Jamie Koza, oh, who lives just steps from the river, <clears throat> is concerned about her three-year-old daughter and what East Palestine's other children could be exposed to in the water. I definitely have a right to know what was on that train um, you know, to see that manifest, to know what chemicals are in the creek, and also how much. Now, new details oh, igniting man. new fears. A letter the Environmental Protection Agency sent to Norfolk Southern revealed the cargo included more potentially hazardous materials than vinyl chloride, chemicals used to make adhesives, plastics, construction materials. Oh, man. The EPA telling the train operator it could be responsible for cleaning up the site. And some experts warn the chemicals could be dangerous. Potential exposure to that oh, could be detrimental, especially if it's during a critical de developmental period or in people that are um, potentially susceptible to um, chemical exposures. All eyes now on Norfolk Southern, the railway company at the center of the disaster. Over the weekend, employing a task force to respond to residents worried about possibly contaminated well water sites and also offering to yeah. test and monitor air quality. We're going to hold their feet to the fire. I'm not... This is going to get swept under the rug. The company did not return our request for comment. Columbiana County has been monitoring East Palestine's groundwater. Is the environment there safe? We've had no indication that there's been any impacts uh, that re could relate to health or safety of our residents. Still, some... Now, you know they're not going to tell people if, if, if thing, <clears throat> things are the way safe yet. You see the man just said, deep down inside, he knows something ain't right. He knows something ain't right. Some residents worry about the potential long-term impact of such a huge derailment and chemical release in the years to come. I've got a lot of concerns for the impact of the people locally, what it's going to look like, not only now, but in the future. All right, Ron Allen joins. Oh, man, they say, and they say that's where all the farmland at. That's where all the top-notch farmland at. See, so they're not saying that right now. But they know them long-term effects. What about them animals? Oh, man. All that. Oh, man. What about them animals? The people going to find a lot of dead animals. So prayers up going to Ohio, man. Prayers up going for the Midwest. Man. Prayer strong, y'all. Now, what do y'all think? Do y'all think this was sabotage? Accident? Neglect? What do y'all think? Y'all leave me a comment. Leave me your reaction. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, because this need to get out. This need to be all over the news. See, but they, I guess they got too many distractions. Distractions, distractions, distractions. So make sure y'all go register traplix.com, traplix.com, traplix.com. All my um, all my um my details is in the description below. So if you are interested in any trap coins, great investment option. Contact me through my details in the description below <clears throat> so I can let you know what the uh, investment options and your, your purchase details are. All right, everybody, man. Big salute, man. Y'all keep your eyes open. Prepare the best you can. Prepare the best you can. Prepare the best you can. Prayer strong, y'all. Love y'all, man. Aye.